guys welcome to the weekly vlog today has been an incredibly work heavy day i have actually just finished recording a podcast with one of my friends who has a podcast is doing like final year of uni and asked me if i wanted to be on it so i said yes but i thought i would actually show you a little insight into what i mean when i say like this is a super worky day because like there are quite a lot of times in weekly vlogs where i'm like oh i haven't filmed because i'm just editing or like i'm just doing something work related and I think that actually quite a lot of you guys recently have been like oh we'd love to see a bit more of that and a bit more of like what's actually involved and I guess there is a side of this job where it's like well you don't see it so to you maybe it doesn't exist this is not me trying to prove anything by the way I'm not like oh my god look at how hard I work but I just thought it would be like interesting to show you especially today because the content that I'm working on today is a mammoth task so you may have seen the video that I put up on Thursday. It was my traveling the country by A to Z with Tom and with my brother. I have been editing it for around six hours at this point and I would say that I'm probably like a third of the way done so i thought i'd show you so this is currently what i can see i mean i have actually been editing downstairs but like this is the content in final cut so so if we zoom out this is what the edit looks like at the moment you can kind of see how far through i am because this is like how much music i've added and stuff i'm editing this in final cut i've used final cut for about two or three years now before that i used imovie but final cut is so so much better and basically the way i do it is i've imported all of this footage into final cut this is the biggest file i've probably ever edited so this is not like a representation of every video and i would say as a general rule a video that's like this for example a weekly vlog probably takes me anywhere from three to six hours to edit completely i love how i'm literally telling you this and you simply probably didn't care but i put everything into final cut and then what i do is go through it cut out all of the like bits where i paused or like said um or like said something a few times because i do do that a lot cut all of that out then what i do is go back through it and do the zoom ins and the bits that make the editing a little bit more dynamic then i go through again and add music so just to check that nothing is too loud nothing is too quiet things like that um, and then i will add like the intro the outro the little graphics on screen that are like saying subscribe and then the text as well so i probably watch a video through about four times and then a fifth time as like a final run just to check everything before i upload it to youtube which which is why these videos take about four hours and then probably another 45 minutes to like make the thumbnail upload it do the description box kind of thing uh, a video like this probably takes anywhere between like 10 to 18 hours of editing like just purely because there's more footage and there's more to work on if i filmed a video in one take so like a chatty vlog or like a a chatty kind of sit down video that's quicker to edit because i've filmed less so yeah that's kind of where we're at i would also say as a general rule the video length you see on youtube i've probably filmed double so like this video will probably be about 20 minutes 25 minutes because that's where the vlogs usually are between like 15 and 25 minutes i will have filmed probably about 40 minutes sometimes more sometimes less um, but not usually but yeah that's a little insight i just thought i'd start the vlog with that to be honest because i think maybe some of you don't really know and care or maybe some of you don't know and you don't care that's a little look to make my thumbnails i almost always in fact no i don't know why i just said that i always use photoshop like i don't use anything other than photoshop i don't do anything crazy it's usually just to add text or to like brighten it up or you know make it fit the thumbnail size but i always use photoshop just because i think it's the best for it welcome to the weekly vlog there was a little insight into my working day in my office hope you're doing well hope you're having a lovely saturday i'm bloody buzzing for this vlog because i am going to newcastle in it and i think you're probably gonna like it because we're going on a night out and it's gonna be fun so i am about to go and wash my hair and i'm actually gonna use these two products because i think these are the best for like newly dyed blonde hair this is specifically for dyed blonde frizzy hair and this is like a treatment gloss that really locks in your color but in like an icy blonde i really really like this actually if you did watch the vlog last week you will know that i have had just like kind of some highlights put through my hair actually not like anything crazy but just to top up the blonde i've also had a haircut and this is my first time washing it since then i've kind of let it sit for like five days because i wanted it to just like absorb the color and to be honest it didn't need washing so i know that hair doesn't like absorb the color but you know but anyway yeah shower time with these products so i've washed my hair and i keep watching people on tiktok using these appliances and a roller to kind of get their like fringe bit to stay really curly now obviously because i've just had my hair cut and dyed oh my god i've used a purple shampoo and my hair is purple <laughs> oh dear <laughs> oh great okay 
never mind. So I'm gonna try and do it because I think I've watched enough to kind of get the hang of it. I think this is the right device. I don't know if I have two of these, maybe I do. No, just this Revlon one. So I'm gonna use this to kind of dry my hair with like a, a flicky blow dry and then pin up my front section of my hair, like my front kind of pieces with rollers and then I'll show you my results in the morning. Probably won't work because I don't think I have the right hair type for this. Like my natural hair wants to be frizzy. It does not want to be held in a roller. It wants to be like, Curly. Oh my god, I've accidentally dyed my hair. Cool. <laughs> mm, I feel like I look like a 1940s wartime parent. <laughs> but this is how I'm gonna sleep. Will I have a funky fringe in the morning or will I just look stupid? Right, I've straightened the rest of my hair, but as you can see, the front of the roller is just super frizzy because that's what my hair does. So we're gonna try taking it out, but like it is stuck. I think just people with curly frizzy hair, does this work? Can anyone tell me? Right, let's try and take this out and see what we're all working with here. It's been a good like 11 hours. Okay, I mean, actually, I, I reckon once that's dropped, you know, that might not be actually that bad. Wow. I mean, it's, it's a mess still. I'm not sure really I like the, the ringletiness. I think because my hair has quite a lot of bounce in it anyway, it wants to be really high up. Like it's not, it doesn't drop. My hair doesn't like dropping. It likes to stay up here. Hey, you know, I don't hate that. I'm gonna do like a similar thing to the ends of my hair as well because otherwise I feel as though it does look a little bit like the hell <laughs> A little bit Miss Hooley from Balamori but, hmm. So I put some product in it to like try to make it stay kind of poofy at the top Puffy, poofy, I never know how you say that word um, I am gonna curl the rest of my hair because otherwise I think it looks bloody ridiculous I don't hate it, I think I maybe need a bigger roller And I think once I had a bigger roller it would be like one swoopy motion Rather than these kind of like little, little like goat flicks Mixed reviews but not the worst first attempt I did think it was gonna be worse than this so. Okay, so I've lightly curled the rest of my hair and now I actually quite like it I'm not sure it's very me I'm not sure that it's kind of like the vibe I've been for in the past But I guess that was the point of me like having my hair done I feel like it does look a little bit better on this side for some reason I'm not too sure why I think because on this side There's been like a little bit of hair that's included in the roller that's longer So I've got this like flick, but yeah, I mean I don't hate it I think it looks a little bit 90s a little bit clueless, but um, yeah, I'm not mad at it Okay, I forgot to vlog and update you on what's going on, but I'm actually going to stay with my friend Katie up in Newcastle tonight. Hence why I was doing my hair anyway. But I'm currently at York Station. I've just parked my car in the world's tightest car parking space. So if I get back and it's not being dinged, I'll be surprised. There was just nowhere to park. So yeah, heading to York now. No, 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 I'm not. I'm heading to Newcastle. I'm in York. Hey, Giggle Town on Sunset Lamb. What? <laughs> That's not Sunset Lamb. That's a rave. Yeah, but then look at the wall. Uh, oh, you've been, you've been conned. You got this off TikTok, didn't you? Actually, my dad got me it for Christmas. I think my sister probably. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> it changes colour. It is quite cool because I have these fairy lights, which uh, I like. I love those lights, actually. I really like them, but sometimes they're like not enough light. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's Katie. So, <laughs> this is a really good start to the vlog. I thought it was like cool vibes, you know? No, yeah, it is. It is. It also looks sort of like, do you remember that trend on TikTok when people would put themselves in like a, a ring of light and do like a fake mugshot? It looks like that. Yes, I do know what you mean. Anyway, um, how do I turn that off? Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. Hey, go turn off since I am. <laughs> I was gonna say, hello, I'm in Newcastle now. I am in Katie's room at current, um, and I vlogged her a little while ago. I'm actually blind from that light now. Um, but yeah, I came to see Katie. I think we just worked it out, it was about seven weeks ago, so it's not been too long at all. Um, but I'm trying to make sure that I see all of my friends that are living away in the next couple of weeks in case I get to go traveling. I don't know. I've come to see Katie. <laughs> Moral of the story. Before she abandons me. No, no, no. But yeah, we are going out this evening with a group of people. Katie's... They're not your flatmates, are they? No. Friends. One of them is. Katie's friends and flatmates slash housemates. We're going to a place called Lane 7. No, where are we going first? Central, Central Oven. Central and Oven and Shaker. And then Lane 7. And then Market Shaker. Lots of shakers. Yeah. And then maybe... We're not sure. We're not sure. That's where the <laughs> night is up to. Yeah, there's a lot of things that are just constantly going on in this city. It's never boring. And there's always something to do, which is... The good thing about coming to Newcastle, so yeah, we're gonna get ready now. I haven't decided what I'm gonna wear, so I just brought all of my clothes. Yeah. Literally, <laughs> so many different tops in this bag. You did pack kind of light though. I know. I'm impressed you got all the bag. I know. 
Yeah, I've stopped taking suitcases overnight because I think that's extra and I don't need that many clothes. I can't do that. You no, know, Katie is the queen of overpacking. Hey, I don't overpack. I remember when we went to Nice when we were in year 11 and everybody turned up with like hand luggage and Katie had like a massive suitcase and she's going on a two week holiday. Everyone was like, what's in your bag? I probably used a lot of it. Yeah, I'm like too prepared did. for all eventualities. Well, I am, I am taking a mate, but guess how, guess how many pairs of knickers I've brought for a one night stay? Probably like four. Five pairs of knickers. You just got a plan for every eventuality. Plan in case you wee yourself five times. <laughs> no, it's more like, I don't know what, I don't know what yeah, I'm true. gonna wear. So different I had to bring different knickers. Yeah. But I've only brought one pair of jeans so it literally didn't really matter. So that wasn't even just a fact. <laughs> anyway. Okay guys, it's been a little while. It's been about an hour, maybe a bit more actually. Um, this is the outfit that I've gone for. Basically flared jeans, which look kind of silly until I've got my shoes on because they're too long and the trail on the ground. But when I've got my docks on, obviously they're quite chunky. Um, and then I think this is the final top that I've gone for, but I've changed my mind about seven times. Jersey is sick of hearing me ask which top, but I think I've gone for this like mesh dotty one with this bralette underneath it. The top's from ASOS. I do really like it. I'm just not sure if it's the vibe I was going for. Plus, I am going to wear my leather jacket with it, much to Katie's horror. It's not very Newcastle of me. It's not very Northern, but I just don't think I can go out in the middle of January without a coat on. Okay. Katie's going out without a coat on. Here is Katie's outfit. Which top from? Don't ask me these questions. It's from Pretty Little Thing. I don't think it is. It might be. Yeah, I think it is. Or uh, boohoo. Oh, maybe. And your cargo trousers are from Misguided. Because they just arrived. Um, but yeah, you're brave in the no jacket. You I are crazy. I've done that in a lot less. Yeah, I know. Um, it's been a lot colder. But she's she's like adopted the Newcastle life and I just haven't really, so. I'm trying. Oh, I don't know. The difference was last time when we went to dinner, yeah. We came back afterwards, so I left uh, my jacket and I also left my camera. And now I'm like, well, I'm not going to film anything all night because I can't bring the camera. So I'll vlog on my phone. So whatever you see from here on out, who even knows what it'll be? <laughs> Fingers crossed. I did on last time. Yeah. Like oh god. Wait, I don't even remember if I vlogged last time. Yeah, I did. Oh my god, I filmed like a yeah. yeah two minute cliff outside in the smoking area. Yeah, I did. Oh, cool. Oh, Wish us luck. We'll hopefully survive and hopefully not freeze to death. Well, guys, look at these pizzas that we have got in Central. We've also got some cocktails. I'm so excited. Holy heck. <laughs> this food looks so good. We were like, we won't have anything heavy because we're going to be going out or just the whole bloody restaurant. That's a good lining. Yeah, that's true. Really hoping that this coffee cures me. Oh dear. <laughs> good. Absolutely buzzing. I mean, gonna cure me this looks life. so good. I am so hungover, guys. But this Hence looks why so we're sat good. Outside. Yeah. Well, no. Originally, there wasn't a table inside. And but they offered us to sit inside, and Molly was like, "No." Nah, it's I the fresh air. I look like a Boy. Defeated again. It's just not the vibe. I'm so sorry that you have to sit opposite me looking like this. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, there is a guy in the window that's just in the vlog. Hey, TV. If that's you and you see Subscribe. yourself. Subscribe. But yeah, I, I may. I, I think is I'm. I feel over, but I don't think I drank more than the last time we went out. I actually think I maybe drank less. So I don't really know how that worked. So that's annoying. But now I'm having breakfast. I'm alive. It's fine. <laughs> This lighting is not really the one, but I have made it back to my car. It is now 2 p.m. and I'm feeling a lot better. The breakfast did sort of cure me. I'm not gonna lie, uh, but we had such a great night and I'm very aware that I didn't film tons of it. One, I always feel like vlogging on a night out is kind of weird. And two, I was obviously with like Katie's flat and Katie's housemates who are so lovely. I have met them all before, but I think that was like the first time we'd like gone on a night out together. Uh, so yeah, they were lovely, really welcoming. My, my, my discrepancy today, because you always know there's going to be one, let's be honest, uh, is that I was longer than 24 hours in York Station car park by six minutes, right? So I know, I obviously know there's got to be a cut off point, but instead of it being £12 or, or £16 or something, I've just been charged £34 to leave my car in the car park. Like, I should have just got a train from home. A train from home would have been like eight quid. The reason I didn't, and the reason I don't do that usually is because it adds on like an extra hour. The trains are really slow. But oh my god, £34 to park my car for 24 hours and six minutes is that i'm not in london simply why am i paying those prices Ugh.
if I'd have just left my car somewhere where it was like, you know, on street parking. Oh, I've been ripped off. I feel a bit sick inside at the thought of it, but I'm not going to drive home. I got a lot of editing done on the train, but I've still got quite a bit to do for my video tonight that's going up at six. Honestly, guys, if you haven't seen it, I feel like it's low-key a work of art in itself. It's been like a project. One that I'm so excited for you to see and also one that I'm so excited to get finished, but I had a lovely, lovely night in Newcastle. I really loved everybody we went out with and it's always so lovely to see Katie. So yeah, all in all, a fab night out, a great time, and I'm gonna go home now. Hello guys, I am now a lot more alive than I was yesterday, I'm not gonna lie to you. Wasn't my finest hour, but uh, I am now home. It's actually Friday, but I wanted to do a little interlude because I really gave no context to this, but last night I actually joined a virtual event with Elf Cosmetics, you might have heard of them, um, to celebrate the January. So it was actually a baking class led by the winner of the Great British Bake Off, Dan Beasley, I think his name is, who was actually so lovely. The whole class was really nice. He was very talented. I was less talented, so I did film that, I just didn't give an intro to it, so I thought I would insert that little bit of footage here. Like I say, baking is not my finest hour, and also I think it requires patience, which is something that I don't really have that much of. I think that's why I'm not good at cooking and baking just generally, because like, I want it to be done instantly, and it takes like, time. But yeah, this is my footage from the Elf baking event last night. Obviously Friday, I probably will end the vlog pretty soon, but I thought I would bring you to lunch with me because I'm actually going for dinner out with my grandma today. Dinner, lunch, just like a pub lunch uh, with my brother as well because he is going back to university tomorrow. Um, and also, like I said, when I was seeing Katie, I am trying to make my way around family members and friends in case. Don't want to say anything too much. Tom and I might be leaving kind of soon. Uh, so I am, I am making sure that I, I just see people like just on the off chance. I've like seen them recently and like, you know, we've had some time together and stuff. So I am going for dinner with my grandma now and I thought, you know what? It's Friday. I don't usually vlog Fridays, but why not? Yeah, let's go to the pub. I am gonna end this vlog here because I just realized that I haven't. It is Friday night and I am actually going for a drink with my friend Jenny. I feel like I've done that a lot in the last two vlogs. I'm like, oh, I'm just meeting this friend for a drink and this friend for a drink. Um, it is kind of because I haven't seen any of my friends in such a long time. It is also kind of because, as I mentioned, I'm just trying to like make sure that I see people. Um, so yeah, I just have like super casual outfit on with a blazer, which I think instantly dresses up any outfit to be honest, because like all I have on is just jeans and a black jumper. But then this blazer just makes it look like I've put a bit more effort in when I literally haven't. Yeah, we're just going to the pub and then I think it's going to be an actual early night because both Jenny and I have stuff on. But it'll be really nice to see her either way. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed it. I know it's been quite jumpy, quite all over the place. But I hope you did enjoy a little behind the scenes of what it's like to be a YouTuber. Subscribe so that you don't miss more uploads from me. And I shall see you guys on Tuesday with another one. Bye.